Hello dear students, today we will discuss sequencing problem processing of two jobs through m number of machines. So let's start. So to solve uh, this kind of problem, that is processing of two jobs through m number of machine, we consider one numerical. Using graphical method determine the optimum sequence needed to process job 1, job 2 on the five machines A, B, C, D, E. For each machine find out the job which should be done first. Also calculate the total time needed to complete the both jobs. In this type of problem job 1 and job 2 are given actually. Here sequence and the time required to complete the job for respective machines are given. Like A, B, C, D is the sequence for job 1. For job 2 sequence are C, A, D, E, F. And time requirement here is 1 hour, 2 hour, 3 hour, 5 hour, 1 hour. Here 3 hour, 3 hour, 4 hour, 2 hour, 1 hour, 5 hours. So let's see. To solve this problem, at first we draw two lines, x axis and y axis. For x axis, let's consider this is job 1. And for y axis, this is suppose job 2. After that, you have to write down the number of hours here. Okay, number of hours you have to put here. So let's start 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, like this, this is suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, similarly we have to do for job 2 in a same skill 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 so let's write here this is suppose 1 <coughs> 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, this is 16. After that, as it is mentioned in the problem, so let's write down the sequence for job 1. Job 1, this is the sequence A, B, C, D, E. And time. 1, 2, 3, 5, 1. For job 2, the sequence C, A, D, E, B. And time in terms of hour 3, 4, 2, 1, 5. So for job 1, which represent here in x axis. So let's write here, so this is 1 hour, so this is A. For B it's required 2 hours. So this is 1, 2, so this is your 2 hours. This is B. B. Similarly for C. 3 hours, 1, 2, 3, this is 3 hours, so this is your C, for D is 5 hours, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so this is up to 11, this is your D, and 1 hour for E. Similarly, you have to write down the sequence and corresponding time required to complete the jobs, so this is 
3 hours for C then 4 hours for A 1, 2, 3, 4 so up to 7 this is your A then 2 hours for D 1, 2 so up to this is D then 1 hour for E 1 hour for E this one this is your E and up to 14 this is your B after that you have to draw the lines so let's draw the lines here for A for job 1 draw the vertical lines from A similarly for B which is start from 3 draw the vertical lines for D which is start from 6 draw the vertical lines for D which is start from 11 draw the vertical lines and for E I think you start from 12 let's draw the, let's draw the vertical lines that is for job similarly you draw the horizontal line for job 2 that is for C up to 3 for A from 7 in the 7 you draw the horizontal line then for D it is 9 it's for E it is 10 and for B it is 15 so let's draw the so after completion of that <coughs> you have to find out here in horizon in horizontal you will get a here and here you got a so this is your common area so this represent a this represent a this is your b this is your b so this area represent Similarly for C, this is C, this one also C, this is your C. <coughs> for D, this is D, this one under D, so this is your common area. So this is your D and this is your E. After that, you have to draw a 40, 45 degree line passing through the origin so let's draw a 45 degree line here this is your 45 degree line it passing through this and it is come to here and it move to here <coughs> so if you observe here this particular line coming from the origin passing through this line and going to this way but you can extend you cannot extend beyond this line because this line represent this come under the machine C so machine C finish finishing line is here so here you have to stop after that you have to move in a vertical direction like this way to move the vertical direction so here for D vertical in vertical direction this is the end point again from here you have to draw the 45 degree line so if I draw the 45 degree line by using you know properly measured so this is your 45 degree so this is 45 this is also 45 after that <coughs> you have to find out the ideal time so for this purpose what we do for the purpose what we do if you take you can take job one 
by considering job 1 if you consider only job 1 this one so total time required for the job 1 here if you calculate this is how much it is 12 minutes right and total time come for job 2 will be which is 15 minutes 15 hour this is in terms of hour it is given sorry <coughs> now consider job 1 so job 1 represent horizontal line so let's let's come to this 45 degree line if we move this line from here you just oh this is suppose x this is suppose y this is suppose z <coughs> from oz it is moving this that this way what is the meaning of that here if it is not touching anything here meaning is that both a and c a and c a for job <coughs> one and a for job two are going on simultaneously but here at this point x it is the end of this so here it is moving in this direction meaning is that here this this amount represent the idle time idle time for job one so this is the ideal time for job one so it is moving in vertical direction not in 45 degree direction if something is moving in this direction meaning is that job one and job two both are move you know going on simultaneously but here x and y it is moving in vertical direction meaning is that only job two is going on job one remain ideal due to the arrangement of sequence here mentioned so <coughs> if you consider as total so so total elapse elapse time is nothing but processing time plus idle time so processing time is how much processing time is 12 hours plus if you consider this it will come from here this is 6 and it is n up to 9 so total is 3 so 3 hours so total is 15 so it required 15 hours to complete the job similarly from the job 2 also you have to check the horizontal line for the ideal time so if you observe here there is no horizontal line so total look at here this is 15 hours this is also 15 hours meaning is that total hour required to complete the both the job will be 15 hours and ideal time for the job one will be three hours so let's come to the <coughs> sequence under which it will work so for the sequence so for the machine A, at first we have to job 1 will be done here, job 1, right, then we we'll go to job 2. Similarly for the B, if you look at here, B also, you can start with job 1, then job let's come to C machine C in machine C what happened <coughs> job 1 is going on here so here you can perform job 2 then job 1 similarly for machine D machine D here at first job 2 then job 1 and for machine E job 2 then job 1 so you cannot perform job 1 and then job 2 here because if you observe here up to 15 
up to 15 job B will be going on so that's why this is the ultimate sequence and this is 15 is the elapsed time and ideal time ideal time for job 1 is 3 minutes 3 hours I hope you will understand the problem thank you and stay safe